my seat jump. It is raining and the school roof is leaking again. Moo! Oh, didn't I fix this roof for you before, Madam Gazelle? Yes, Mr. Bull, but still it goes drippity drip drip. It's probably a broken roof tile. I wonder if it's this one. Has the dripping stopped? No, it's dripping more. Maybe these are the broken tiles. Is that any better? No, it's getting worse. Hmm, this is a big hole you've got here. It's gonna cost a lot of money to fix. Oh dear, where shall we get the money to mend the school roof this time? My daddy did a parachute jump for charity. He floated down and made lots of money. Hooray! Good idea, Pedro. Hands up, who thinks their mummy or daddy would like to do a parachute jump? My mummy. My, 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 my daddy. My daddy. My daddy. Me. We need just one. Pepper and George have arrived back home. Mummy, the school roof is leaking again. Is it, darling? Yes. Madam Gazelle says it needs a lot of money to mend. Yes, yes, I'm sure it does. She asked if somebody's mummy or daddy would jump out of an aeroplane. Oh, I hope you didn't say daddy would do it, Pepper. You know he doesn't like heights. But you don't mind heights, do you, Mummy? I'm fine with heights. Good. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for agreeing to jump from an aeroplane. What? But I've never done it before. You'll be fine. Remember, it is for the children. Oh, in that case, of course I'll do it. Hooray, Hooray for, for Mummy Pig! <laughs> It is the day of Mummy Pig's parachute jump. I'm still not sure I really want to do this. It's all in a good cause, Mummy Pig. But I don't know how to jump out of an aeroplane. Don't worry, you'll get lots of training first. Hello, Mummy Pig. Mr Rabbit is the parachute trainer. This is a parachute. It will help you float through the air after you jump. Should I practice that? Practice what? Jumping. Why not? There, you're a natural. Is that it? Yes, you are now fully trained. Hooray! All aboard! I'm still a tiny bit worried about this jump, Daddy Pig. It's okay, Mummy Pig. I'll come up in the plane with you. Good luck, Mummy! <laughs> Don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, you've got a parachute. Yes, Daddy Pig. Oh, we are a long way from the ground. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Daddy Pig has fallen out of the plane. There she goes. No, wait. That's Daddy Pig. Oh. Wait for me, Daddy Pig. Whee! Mummy Pig has jumped. She is going to rescue Daddy Pig. She's got him! Hooray! My mummy to the rescue! Thank you for saving me, Mummy Pig! Oh, Teddy Pig, you're starting to slip! Mr Bull has just finished mending the school roof. Lovely job! It'll last for years! I can't hold on! Ah! Daddy! <laughs> Is Daddy Pig all right? Oh, oh, I'm fine. Good, because you'll need to do that parachute jump again. What? To raise the money to fix this new hole in the school roof. Oh, all right. Hooray for Daddy Pig! <laughs> Winter Games. Today, Pepper and her family are skiing on Snowy Mountain. <laughs> Which way shall we go? One side of the mountain is a nice, gentle slope. The other side is very, very steep. Well, I certainly don't want to ski down the steep side like I did last time. 
<laughs> yes, that was quite spectacular. Last year, Mummy Pig skied down the mountain, <laughs> past the shops, all the way home. <laughs> and she won the Winter Games Cup. <laughs> you skied so well, Mummy. Yes, well, I didn't actually mean to do it, so that's not happening again. OK, let's go this way, then. <laughs> Daddy, Mummy, Pepper and George are skiing down the gentle slope. <laughs> Here are George's friends, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza. George and his friends are skiing together like a long caterpillar. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. It is Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. I love this bit. It's all wibbly-wobbly. Wibbly-wobbly-woo! <laughs> Here is Mandy Mouse. She has a mono-ski. Hello! Squeak. Hello, Mandy! Look at me go! <laughs> Here is Danny Dog. <laughs> he is on a snowboard. Hello, everyone! Hi, Danny! Look at me jump! <laughs> Wow, you're all skiing so well. Yes, you're almost as good as Mummy and me. Mr Pig, what is your best ski trick? Can you go backwards? Backwards? I think that's impossible. Yes, I don't think anyone can ski backwards. Oh, oh. <laughs> Everyone has arrived at the bottom of the slope. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Again. Again! Yes, let's get the ski lift. This is the ski lift. It takes everyone to the top again. <laughs> Skiing is my most favourite thing in the whole wide world. Oh, Mandy, I thought your favourite thing was cheese. Ah, uh, yes. Cheese is good too. Everyone is back at the top of Snowy Mountain. Now we ski down again! Yay! Let's go! <laughs> oh, stop! <laughs> Hang on a moment! Since we're all together, it's a great chance to get a photo. But, Mummy, we want to ski down again. Oh, it won't take a moment. Everyone squish together so I can see you all in the picture. That's good. I just need to go back a bit to get you all in. Uh, Mummy Pig, you know you're standing on the edge of the mountain. Yes, yes, good. I can almost see everyone now. There. Big smile, everyone! <laughs> what? Here we go again. Mummy Pig is skiing down the mountain backwards. Whoa! Quick, everyone, to the rescue! <laughs> Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We're right behind you. Mummy Pig is skiing past the shops yeah! all the way home. Mummy's going to kick the house again. Ah! I'm never going to stop. And on to the playground. Oh, Ooh, Mummy Pig. Mummy skied all the way here. Backwards. Backwards? That is amazing skiing. Here is the Winter Games Cup. Again. Oh, thank you. My mummy's the best at skiing. <laughs> Peppa loves Winter Games. Everyone loves Winter Games. <laughs> Fire station practice. Today is the mummy's fire station practice day. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you ready for action? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Mummy, can we stay and watch you practice? Oh, there won't be much to see, Peppa. It's mostly just sitting around and drinking tea. Daddy Pig, we do proper fire service training here. Ready, steady, go is our motto. And to get that right, we need to practice. Yes, stay and watch. Daddy Pig might learn something. This is the fire service control room. Time for a cup of tea, I think. What did I tell you? We need a cup of tea to get ready for the day. In an emergency, we have to be ready in seconds. 
This first practice will show you just how ready we are. When I ring this bell, the tea drinking stops, the helmets go on, everyone slides down the fire pole... Whee! Whee! ..into the fire engine and off they go! Follow me outside for the next bit. Whee! 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 Remember, ready, steady, go. You just saw ready. Now watch our steady. You have to be very steady when using the fire hose. Mummy's ready. Steady, go! Mummy dog fixes the hose to the fire engine. Mummy Pony rolls out the hose and Mummy Pig points the squirty end at the target. Turn the water on. Water on. Steady, Mummy. Steady. The target is hit and the fire is out. Hooray! That looks fun. It's hard work, Daddy Pig. Is it really? Yes. Just feel how heavy this fire hose is. Oh, yes. That is heavy. And that's even before we've turned the water on. Turn the water on. OK. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sorry. It is not easy to hold a fire hose steady. That was hard work. Now you see why we need to be super fit. Yes. And how do we get super fit? On the fire station obstacle course. This is the fire station obstacle course. Running through this keeps us fit and healthy. So that in an emergency we can keep going. We've shown our ready and our steady. Now let's practice our go. Ready, steady, go! The first obstacle is the inconvenient wall. Go, go! Whee! Woo! Next is the confusing crawling tube. Oh, where am I? <laughs> oh, here I am. Go, Mummy, go! Across the seesaw of general upsets. <laughs> through the tricky tippy toe tyres. One, two, one, two, one, two. Up the sloping rope walk. <gasps> And down the yippee zip wire. Yippee! 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 Oh dear, Mummy Pig is stuck. <gasps> Mummy, are you all right? I'm fine, Pepper. Actually, this mud is quite nice. Stay there, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee! 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 <laughs> Everyone likes fire station practice, especially when there are muddy puddles to jump in. Mummy Pig's book. Mummy Pig is working on the computer. Mummy, can we play Happy Mrs Chicken on the computer? Not at the moment, Pepper. I need to finish the important book I'm writing. Daddy Pig is in the kitchen making lunch. Daddy, when can we play Happy Mrs Chicken? When Mummy has finished writing her book. Oh, that's it. After lots and lots of hard work, I've finally finished writing my book. Well done, Mummy Pig. Now we can play Happy Mrs Chicken. Hooray! <laughs> you did save your work, didn't you? Ah, no, I didn't press save. Forty, ninety, ten, million, hundred and twelve. <laughs> well done, George. That's the highest score ever. <laughs> yeah, my work. Where's my work? Ah, there it is. Quick, save, close. Send. 
you. Is your work all right, Mummy? Yes, Peppa. I've just sent it off to be made into a real storybook. Ooh, a storybook. Not just one book. Lots and lots of books going to bookshops everywhere. Wow. wow. Mummy, can you read us your story? Yes, I'm going to read it to you and your friends at Playgroup tomorrow. <laughs> Mummy Pig has arrived at the playgroup with lots of copies of her new book. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for coming to read your new book to us today. It's very exciting. These books are so new, I haven't even opened one yet. Children, Mummy Pig has worked hard to write this book, so we must listen politely even if it is not very good. Thank you. It's about an onion. Ooh. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. Four seven six eight five nine three. Oh, the rest of the book is one big long number. I don't understand. This is not what I wrote. What is four seven six eight five it's nine? It's George's Happy Mrs Chicken High School. Wow, that is a high school. But where's my Funny Onion story? It's gone. <coughs> I'm sorry, children, but I can't read Funny Onion to you today. Oh. Can you remember the story, Mummy Pig? Yes. Then just tell us the rest. All right. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. <laughs> All he wanted was to make people laugh, but he made people cry instead because he was an onion. <laughs> what a beautiful, sad ending. Uh, no, wait, Madame Gazelle, it's not finished. Oh, I see. Carry on. Funny Onion said, I will search the world to learn how to be funny. He met a tomato. The tomato said, wear a funny hat. But people still cried. <laughs> he met a banana who said, wear some funny shoes. But people still cried. <laughs> funny Onion was ready to give up when a pineapple whispered in his ear. What do you think the pineapple said? Wear a funny red nose. Wear a purple wig. Very good. But what the pineapple really said was, do something funny. Funny Onion did something funny and everyone laughed. They laughed and laughed and laughed. The end. Marvellous. I think it speaks to all of us. The parents have come to collect the children. I've just been to the bookshop, Mummy Pig. It's full of your books. What did you mean by 453967? Well, er, uh, actually... It's probably post-narrative. Very modern. Uh, well done, Mummy Pig. Thank you. <laughs> the parents love Mummy Pig's book. The children love Mummy Pig's book. Everyone loves Mummy Pig's book. Mummy Pig at work. Mummy Pig is working on her computer. Daddy Pig is making soup for lunch. Daddy, can we go and watch Mummy on her computer? Yes, as long as you don't disturb her. She has a lot of important work to do today. Thank you, Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig has a lot of important work to do. Mummy? Can George and I sit on your lap and watch you work? Yes, if you both sit quietly. <laughs> Peppa and George love to watch Mummy work on the computer. Mummy, can we play that computer game, Happy Mrs Chicken? We can play Happy Mrs Chicken later, but now I have to work. Mummy, can we help you work? No, Pepper. You mustn't touch the computer. And George, you mustn't touch the computer either. Yes, George. You mustn't do this. Pepper, stop! Sorry, Mummy. I was just showing George what not to do. Oh, dear. The computer is not meant to do that. Daddy Pig! Daddy Pig!
What is it, Mummy Pig? Daddy Pig, can you mend the computer? Um. I'll finish the lunch while you mend the computer. Uh, right you are, Mummy Pig, but I'm not very good with these things. Oh, thank you, Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig is going to mend the computer. Mm. Mm. Um, maybe if I just switch it off and then switch it on again. Daddy Pig has mended the computer. Hooray, Daddy! <laughs> yes, I am a bit of an expert at these things. Daddy, can we play that computer game, Happy Mrs Chicken? Maybe you should ask Mummy Pig. Mummy said that we can play it later. Well, that's OK, then. But I don't know where the disc is. It's my turn. <laughs> what on earth is going on? <laughs> Well, I see the computer is working again. Peppa and George are playing at Granny and Grandpa's house today. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Papa Egg. Oh, ho. hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you later. See you later. <laughs> Where's Granny Pig? Hello, my little ones. That is Granny Pig's voice. But where is she? Granny Pig. <laughs> Here I am. Granny Pig. Gangy Egg. Why is Granny in the roof? We're tidying the attic. What's the attic? It's where we keep all our old things. Like you, Grandpa Pig. Ha ha! Things that are even older than me. <laughs> Can we help? <laughs> OK. <laughs> <laughs> Granny and Grandpa's attic is at the very top of the house. That's the door to the attic. How do we get up there? I have a clever trick. Hello, my little ones. It's Granny. Come on up. <laughs> this is our attic. Wow. It's very full. Yes, it's full of old junk. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are here to help us throw some things out. Good. Let's start by throwing out this box. Oh, not that box. Do we really need this? That's my ship in a bottle. And this? That's my other ship in a bottle. And these? They're my other ships in bottles. I need them all. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to throw something out. Uh, how about this box? No! Not my hats! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, we can't decide what to throw out. I know. 
We'll let Pepper and George decide. OK. <laughs> Let's throw away this old case. Oh! oh not, not that, that one. one! This isn't just any old case. It's a record player. Ooh. And this was our favourite record. Can we play it? Yes! Oh, oh we haven't heard it for years. <laughs> Takes me back. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Pepper and George. Let's dance. <laughs> 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 Mummy Pig is here to pick up Pepper and George. Hello. Where are you? Mummy Pig cannot find anyone. What's that noise? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. We've been dancing to Granny and Grandpa's favourite record. Yes. Huh? Granny and Grandpa played it all the time. Ooh. And here's the record I used to play when I was a little piggy. What is it? It's called Birdie Birdie Woof Woof. Not Birdie Birdie Woof Woof. You were always playing that. I thought we'd thrown that out ages ago. The birds go woof and the dogs go tweet. Woof, tweet, woof, tweet, woof, woof, woof. <laughs> the sheep go moo and the cows go ba. Moo ba, woof, tweet, woof ba, moo, tweet, woof, woof, woof. <laughs> <laughs> again, again. The birds go woof and the dogs go tweet. tweet. Woof, tweet, woof, tweet, woof, woof, woof. The sheep go moo and the cows go ba. Moo ba, woof, tweet, woof ba, moo, tweet, woof, woof, woof. That was fun, but we were supposed to be finding some things to throw out. Pepper, what should we throw out and what should we keep? Hmm, I think you should keep. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig's birthday. Today is Mummy Pig's birthday. Daddy Pig has made Mummy Pig breakfast in bed. Happy birthday, Mummy Pig. Pepper and George have made Mummy Pig a birthday card. Happy birthday, Mummy. <laughs> Oh, what a lovely birthday surprise. And there are more surprises to come. Enjoy your birthday breakfast. Take your time. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> yummy. Quick, we have to get everything else ready. Daddy Pig has made a birthday cake for Mummy Pig. We've just got to put the candles on. <laughs> One, two... Here I come. Mummy Pig has finished her birthday breakfast. Mummy's coming. Oh, no. We're not ready yet. Uh, who is it? It's Mummy. Can I come in? No, no! <laughs> is there something secret going on? Uh, no. Nothing's going on. <laughs> but you can't come in. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Mummy Pig, why don't you relax in the sitting room? That sounds nice. Well, it is your birthday. <laughs> OK, Pepper. I think I know what the sitting room is. <laughs> Here's a nice magazine. Thank you, Pepper. And here's some pretty music. Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> we need the same number of candles as Mummy's age. One, two, three. Oh dear. We haven't got nearly enough candles. Daddy, how old is Mummy? I'll whisper it in your ear. Wow. Really old. <laughs> you know, I think three candles will be fine. Mummy Pig's birthday cake is ready. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> we just have to put up the decorations in the sitting room. <sighs> Hello, Mummy. Oh, there you all are. I was getting a little bored. Mummy, would you like to have a nice walk in the garden? <laughs> <laughs> Do I have any choice? Nope. <laughs> Bye-bye, Mummy. Have a lovely walk. We'll call you when it's safe to come back in. I've forgotten what hard work birthdays were. <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper and George are decorating the sitting room. <laughs> this is fun! 
Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig have arrived for Mummy Pig's birthday. Happy birthday, Mummy Pig. Aren't you coming inside? Oh, I can't come in yet. Daddy Pig, Peppa and George are doing secret things for my birthday. How lovely. <coughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs> Mummy, would you like to come inside now? I'd love to. Close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed, Mummy. <laughs> One, two, three, open your eyes! Yeah. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Mummy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely surprise! Blow the candles out and make a wish. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, Mummy, open your present. Can you guess what it is? I've no idea. Open it and see. It's a beautiful dress. Oh. You're beautiful, Mummy. <laughs> now you just need somewhere nice to wear it. What's this? Two tickets to the theatre, tonight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mummy Pig loves going to the theatre. And Granny Pig and I are going to babysit the little ones. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> what a super birthday. I'm the luckiest Mummy in the whole world. <laughs> And the most beautiful. <laughs> the Blackberry Bush. Pepper and her family are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Today I'm going to make apple and blackberry crumble. Yummy! I need you brave explorers to go and get the fruit. Hi, hi, Granny, Granny Pig. Pig. We've got baskets for the apples. And Buckets for the blackberries. First, the easy bit, picking apples. On the count of three, shake the tree. One, One two, two, three! three. <laughs> <laughs> now for the blackberries. Why don't we just have apple crumble? Because blackberries. Berries are tasty too, Grandpa. OK, now the hard bit. Now that's what I call a blackberry bush. This bush has been here since I was a little piggy. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. Grandpa, why don't you like it? I don't like the way it looks at me. Silly Grandpa, it's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely blackberries. George has seen some really big, juicy blackberries. <coughs> Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. <laughs> Clever, Grandpa. But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no, I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush and she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Peppa. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a blackberry bush. And she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um, can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. Oh, 
my prince. My princess. Mm -hmm. You were meant to stay in there for a hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. <laughs> Mummy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. Stand still while we pick you. <laughs> Let's take all this fruit back to Granny Pig. Granny! Granny! Mummy had an adventure! And then Mummy fell in the bush. She looked quite silly. And she was going, Ah! Help me! Help me! And then Daddy came and rescued her. The end. Thank you, Peppa. I think we've all heard that story enough times now. But it's funny. I never want to see another blackberry in my life. So, you don't want any apple and blackberry crumble, then? Well... Mmm, delicious. Mummy Pig loves apple and blackberry crumble. Everyone loves apple and blackberry crumble. <laughs> <laughs> the olden days. Susie Sheep has come to play at Peppa's house. Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> I've got something to show you. Look. What is it? It's a photograph. Who do you think it is? <gasps> it's a baby sheep. It's me. <laughs> You're not a baby. <laughs> it's an old photo. When I was a baby. Don't be silly, Susie. In the olden days, you were a baby too, Peppa. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. Ask your mummy. Mummy Pig is working on the computer. <coughs> mummy? Hello, Peppa. Susie is talking nonsense. No, I'm not. She said in the olden days, I was a baby. <coughs> Well, you were Pepper. Look, here are some photos on the computer. Who do you think that is? It's Baby Alexander. Baby Alexander is Pepper's cousin. No, that's you as a baby Pepper. Baby Pepper. <laughs> Somebody sounds like they're having fun. Look, Daddy, that's a picture of me as a baby. I remember it well. It was taken on our first day in this house. What do you mean? When you were little, we moved into this house. We brought all our things on top of our car. Mummy Pig put some pictures up. Daddy Pig put up a shelf. <coughs> and Grandpa Pig made us a lovely flower garden. Where's Grandpa's lovely flower garden now? Daddy Pig looked after it. Uh, we had the wrong kind of soil for flowers. Oh. And anyway, you needed somewhere to play. You and Susie loved to play in the garden. <coughs> Was Susie my friend in the olden days? Yes, you and Susie have always been best friends. <coughs> <laughs> in the olden days, did Susie and me jump up and down in muddy puddles? No, Pepper. You were babies. You couldn't even walk. Oh, what did we do? <laughs> you cried. <laughs> you burped. <laughs> and you laughed. <laughs> we were babies. Baby Susie. Baby Peppa. <laughs> goo goo gaga, goo goo gaga. <laughs> Soon after that, you were toddlers. <laughs> and where was George? He was a baby in my tummy. <laughs> yes, you were in my tummy, George. You've got a big tummy, Daddy. Is there a baby in there? Oh, oh no, Peppa. This tummy is pure muscle. <laughs> <laughs> and so George was born. <laughs> and Granny and Grandpa gave George a very special present. Can you guess what it was? Mr Dinosaur! That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and you and Susie were running and jumping around. <laughs> 
Then one day you saw something amazing. Monkey puggle! <laughs> Peppa, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> you loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles. I still do! <laughs> 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 Let's take a photo now. Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa has always loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Miss Rabbit's relaxation class. Mummy Pig is working on her computer. <laughs> Peppa, George and Daddy Pig are getting ready to go out. Peppa, are you ready for playgroup? Yes, Daddy. I just need my shoes. <laughs> George, remember you're going to a children's party? <laughs> Have you seen my briefcase? I'm sure I left it in here. You're holding it. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> We're off now. Bye. 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 Ah, lovely and quiet. Now I can work on my computer. Mummy Pig likes working on her computer. Hello? Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you doing anything today? I'm working on my computer. Oh, that's not good. Computers make you stressed. You need to come to my relaxation class. Relaxation class? What's that? It's where you learn to unwind and find your inner happiness. You'll feel amazing afterwards. Actually, that does sound nice. Great! See you at the sports centre. This is the sports centre. Miss Rabbit is in charge. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. I'm here for the relaxation class. Hello, sports centre. Relaxation class is through that way. You want to book a bouncy castle? No problem. Hello, is this the relaxation class? Yes. We're all here to find inner happiness and calm. Hello! Welcome to the relaxation class. It's all about leaving stress behind. So please turn off your phones. Relax your bodies. Empty your minds. Hello, sports centre? OK, I'll be right there. Back in a mo. Just keep relaxing while I'm gone. <laughs> Hello, children. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We've come for our gym lesson. Yes, the children are very excited. <laughs> Fantastic. I'll just set up the gym for you. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just keep relaxing. Relax. <laughs> hello, Mummy. What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Pepper. I've come to do a class. Me too. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> now, where were we? Uh, we were just starting to relax. Oh, yes. Think of a beautiful woodland glade. Stillness, silence. <laughs> Children, are you ready for your gym class? Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. What's that? I can't hear you. Surely you can shout louder than that. Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. I want to see lots of jumping and climbing and running. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Slow down. Quicker, quicker! Calm, harmony, stillness. Jump, jump, jump! Relax! <laughs> Hello, Mummy Pig! What are you doing here? I'm doing a relaxation class. Well, I hope this children's party doesn't disturb you. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> oh, oh, this is fun. I wonder how high I can go. <laughs> Just try to relax. Stop relaxing now. Relaxation class is over. How did you find it, Mummy Pig? Very, very stressful. Funny. That's what everybody says. Why don't you have a go on the bouncy castle? <laughs> yes, I think I will. Whee! This is wonderful. I feel lovely and relaxed. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Mummy Pig loves bouncy castles. Everybody loves bouncy castles. Pen pal. Peppa and her friends are at their playgroup. Children, who would like a pen pal? Me! 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 What's a pen pal? A pen pal is a boy or girl you can write letters to. This little girl lives in France. Her name is Delphine Donkey. Can Delphine Donkey be my pen pal? Of course, Peppa. Hooray! <laughs> it is early morning. Mr Zebra the postman is delivering a letter to Peppa's house. Post! Peppa and George <laughs> love it when the post arrives. It's addressed to Miss Peppa Pig. That's me! Mummy, can you read it for me? Of course. It's from Delphine Donkey. My pen pal! <laughs> what does she say? Bonjour, Peppa. Comment ça va? Mummy, why are you saying those funny words? It's French, Peppa. It means, hello, how are you? What else does she say? Hmm. I'll help. Jame les princesses et jouer avec mes amis. <laughs> Clever daddy. <laughs> I am an expert at French. What does it mean? Um... Daddy Pig cleans his glasses so he can see the letter more clearly. Hmm. It's no good. It's nonsense. It means I like fairy princesses and playing with my friends. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk French. Maybe you could talk to Delphine Donkey. How? Her phone number is on this letter. Yippee! <laughs> Bonjour. Est-il possible que Peppa parle à Delphine? Mummy Pig is asking if Peppa may speak to Delphine. Hello. Bonjour. Bonjour. Um, what do I say next? Comment ça va? Comment ça va? <laughs> bye bye. Au revoir. Au revoir. What did she say? She spoke French. <clears throat> Bonjour, George. Comment ça va? Peppa is saying, how are you? In French. Dinosaur. No, George. That's not how you speak French. <laughs> it is morning. Mr Zebra the postman is delivering letters to Peppa's house. Post! Hooray! <laughs> Can I have my letter from Delphine, please? Sorry, Peppa. There's no letter for you today. Aww. I wonder who that could be. Bonjour, I am Delphine Donkey. Oh, I have come to see Peppa. It's Delphine! Bonjour! <coughs> Bonjour, Peppa. Oh, here are my maman and papa and my brother Didier. Bonjour! <coughs> here are my mummy and daddy and my little brother George. Hello! <coughs> Dinosaur! <coughs> Dragon! <coughs> 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 Do you speak French, Mr. Pig? I'm an expert at French. Ah, parlons sport. J'adore l'équipe de foot de Paris. Quelle est votre équipe de foot préférée? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Delphine, we could jump up and down in muddy puddles. Delphine does not understand Peppa. J'adore sauter dans les flaques de boue. Peppa does not understand Delphine. Everything's so different in French, Daddy. Oh, come on, Peppa! <laughs> J'adore sauter dans les flaques de boue. Ah, that's what I was going to show you. We call it jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> oh, J'adore jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone in the whole world loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Planes. Daddy Pig is getting ready to go to work. Good. That's all the papers I need. Bye. Bye bye, Daddy. Mummy, can we make something? Yes. What would you like to make? Dinosaur. Oh, George, you always.
I say dinosaur for everything. Let's make an aeroplane. <laughs> George <laughs> likes aeroplanes. Can we make an aeroplane that flies? Yes. All we need is some paper. <laughs> we know where there's paper. <laughs> there is lots of old paper in the workroom. Here's some paper. Perfect. Mummy Pig is going to make a paper aeroplane. Fold the paper down the middle. <laughs> now fold the corners in at one end. Fold those corners in again to make a point. Then fold the sides back like this. Paper aeroplanes! <laughs> Let's see if they can fly. Ready, steady, go! Ooh. Mummy Pig's aeroplane has flown into a tree. My turn! Whee! Peppa's aeroplane has landed in a flower pot. Your turn, George! Whee! George's aeroplane is doing a loop the loop and has landed in the duck pond. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a big aeroplane. We'll need a really big piece of paper. <laughs> Here's a big piece of blue paper. <laughs> Pepper and George have made a big blue aeroplane. <laughs> Daddy Pig! Hello, everyone. Shouldn't you be at work? Yes, but I've forgotten some important papers. Daddy, we're making aeroplanes. <laughs> we made a really big one. Wow, fantastic. You need someone big and strong to throw it. Ready, steady, go! The big blue aeroplane is flying very high and very far. It just keeps on going. Bye-bye, aeroplane. Oh, oh, bye-bye. Now, I need to find my important work papers. Has anyone seen any pieces of paper? Um, uh, maybe you should follow me. Is this one of your important papers? Yes, that's one of them. Is this one of your important papers, Daddy? Yes. Thank you, Pepper. Uh, why are we at the duck pond? Oh, I see. Thank you, Mrs. Duck. The only paper I'm missing now is a big blueprint. Hmm. Is it big and blue? Like the aeroplane you flew a long way away, Daddy. Oh, um... The one that we said bye-bye to? Yes. Maybe I should ring the office. This is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, Daddy Pig. Did you find the papers? I found some of them. The only one we need is the big blueprint. Uh, that might be a problem. Daddy threw it away. Threw it away? And it flew and flew forever. Ah, it's here. It just landed on my desk. Eh? What a great idea to make it into a paper aeroplane and throw it to us. Oh, yes. Well, I am a bit of an expert at throwing things. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Now the blueprint is delivered, Daddy Pig can take the rest of the day off work. Ah, that's nice. Daddy, we need your newspaper. What for? Making paper aeroplanes. <laughs> <laughs> Scooters. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George are playing on their scooters. Whee! <laughs> vroom, vroom. <laughs> George is still learning how to scooter. He is a bit worried. <laughs> George, come on! <laughs> What's the matter, George? <laughs> Shall I teach you how to scooter? <laughs> OK, you hold on to the handlebars like this with both hands. Now, stand on the scooter. Oh. No, George. Stand on the scooter with one foot. Good. <laughs> now push off with the other foot. Like this. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> George, you're doing it! <laughs> George has learned to scooter. 
<laughs> Peppa! George! That's enough scootering for now. It's time to go to playgroup. Oh, we've only just started scootering. <laughs> Can we ride our scooters to playgroup, Daddy? Good idea. We could do with the exercise. Hooray! Ready, steady, go! Whee! Wait for me! See you later, Mummy Pig! See you later! Peppa and George are riding their scooters to playgroup. <laughs> Not so fast! <laughs> Come on, Daddy! Daddy can't keep up! <laughs> Wait for me! <laughs> Peppa and George have arrived at playgroup. Bye. Oh, now I'm going to have to walk back home. What I need are some wheels. Hang on, I've got wheels. Whee! Ha <laughs> ha, this is fun. <laughs> Daddy Pig likes scootering. Brum, brum. Whee! <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're riding Peppa's scooter. Yes, scootering is such fun. You should try it sometime. <laughs> Peppa and George are painting pictures at Playgroup. Madam Gazelle, we came to school on our scooters today. <laughs> Very good, Peppa and George. Let's all paint pictures of how we came to school today. <laughs> I came on my bicycle. <laughs> Very good. I walked here. So nice to get the fresh air in your lungs. My granddad brought me in his truck. Broom, broom, broom. Uh -huh. Lovely. It is time for Mummy and Daddy Pig to pick up the children from playgroup. Have you got the car keys, Daddy Pig? I don't think we should take the car, Mummy Pig. But it's a long way to walk to playgroup. We don't have to walk. I made that mistake this morning. We can scooter. <laughs> Race you! Whee! What? Are you sure? Uh, OK. Whee! Whee! Mummy and Daddy Pig are scootering to playgroup to pick up Pepper and George. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I told you we wouldn't have to walk. Mummy! Daddy! You brought our scooters! <laughs> Hooray! Whee! Ah, uh, yes. That seems to leave us without scooters for the journey home. Daddy Pig, you said we wouldn't have to walk. We won't have to walk, but we will have to run. Race you! Hey, wait for me! Whee! <laughs> this is fun! Peppa! George! Oh, wait for Mummy and Daddy! <laughs> Peppa and George love scootering. Everybody loves scootering. <laughs> School project. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, who can tell me what this is? It's a castle. That's right, Danny. And for your school project, I want you to go home and make a castle. Wow! You can make your castles from any old bits and bobs you find at home. Cardboard, plastic bottles, egg boxes... Can we use glitter? Oh, please, not too much glitter. It gets everywhere. Can I make the castle big? Make it as big as you like. The only limit is your imagination. It is breakfast time at Peppa's house. Mummy, Daddy, I've got some very good news. What's that, Peppa? I am doing a new school project. Uh, school project? Oh, what is it, Peppa? I need to make a castle. OK. Why don't you use this empty cereal box? Stick these yogurt pots on the sides. And what have you got? A box with pots on it. <coughs> no, Daddy, it has to be good. Peppa, what exactly did Madam Gazelle tell you to do? She told us to use our imagination. And a fantastic castle is what I am imagining. <coughs> and my castle has to be big enough for me to live in. I see. Right. It is breakfast at Susie Sheep's house. 
Madam Gazelle told you to make a real fairy palace? Yes, with all the little fiddly bits. <laughs> Hello? Sorry, but I can't come into work today. It's a school project! <laughs> yes, yes! <laughs> Thanks, but I should be able to manage. <laughs> This is what my castle looks like, but much, much bigger. If it needs to be big, we should use concrete. No, Daddy Pig. We just need to find a big enough cardboard box. Have we got a big box? Uh, no. Delivery for Daddy Pig. I don't remember ordering anything this large. Ah, it's just a new light bulb. Why do they use so much packaging for these things? Shall I take the box away for you? Oh, yes. Thank you. No, Daddy. We need that box. Look what I've got. Great. That's your castle almost done. Hooray! Hooray. It's not almost done. We have to stick things on, paint it, add the glitter. Glitter? Hello? Hello. Can I speak to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. How's your school project going? I'm doing very well. More pointy, Mummy, and it needs to be taller. How is your castle going? It's quite hard work, but my Mummy and Daddy are helping a little tiny bit. Uh, what do you think of this tower, Peppa? Very good, but it still looks a bit cardboardy. Hmm, maybe I can paint it. I need to get on with my work now, Susie. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, Peppa. What do you think, Peppa? Wow, that looks just like a castle. Oh, we got there in the end. Hmm, it just needs one more thing. Glitter! Oh, um, glitter would stop the castle looking real. And anyway, we've, um, completely run out of glitter. Peppa and her friends have brought their castles back to playgroup. Wow, a fairy palace. That must have been a bit tricky for you to make, Susie. No, it was easy. <laughs> My castle is made out of a cardboard box. It is a very fine castle. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. Pedro, did you not make a castle? I did, but it's too big to bring into school. Uh, we built it out of stone blocks. Isn't it wonderful what the children can make using just their imaginations? And my castle really is big enough for me to live in. <laughs> Peppa loves school projects. <laughs> Everyone loves school projects. 